The younger of the two is Alfonso Zamora. Zamora is only 22 years old. His taller opponent, screen right as they pose for photographers around the ring, Harlow Zarate, is 25 years old. In the middle is the referee, Richard Steele. Richard, the former top light heavyweight fighter himself, uh, fought around the Los Angeles area not many years ago, and he could really belt. Now he's in with a couple of little guys here. Richard uh, weighs 185 pounds himself, and uh, Zamora, screen left, the shorter, at 5'4", and one closer to you. Now he's screen right. Zamora weighs 119 and three quarters. He weighs more than the man, Carlos Zarate, screen left, who is three inches taller. Zarate stands 5'7", and Zamora is 5'4". Yet Zarate is three quarters of a pound lighter. At 119 even, Zarate is the WBC, that is World Boxing Council, bantamweight champion of the world. Alfonso Zamora, screen left, is the WBA, World Boxing Association, bantamweight champion of the world. We are ready for round number one. You'll hear the bell. There it is. Alfonso Zamora. They both wear red trunks, as you can see. And they both have their names printed in white around the waistband. Zamora, screen left, Z-A-M-O-R-A. Now screen right. Zarate, Z-A-R-A-T-E. The Z boys, they call them. Zarate also has a white stripe down his pant leg. Undefeated, a showdown, two world champions. Neither one of them has ever lost a fight. 22-year-old Zamora, a record of 28 wins, no losses. All 28 wins by knockout. Zarate, 46 wins, no losses. 45 of the 46 wins by knockout. A trivia quiz, who was the only fighter ever to go the distance with Carlos Zarate? Victor Ramirez. I don't think we know any more than we did before, do we? Amazing record. Think of it. And look at this fella in the ring. How did he get in the ring? He's upper, screen right. A young man with uh, gray shorts on, a white shirt. He acts as if he is, I don't know, is he begging for peace or is he challenging the fighters? Or is he trying to give a spiritual message? Oh, there, the police really grabbed him. How on earth did he get in the ring? And this is not staged. This is uh, rough stuff. Now he is dragged out and they almost have to drag him because he wasn't going to budge. Well, <laughs> we're off to an exciting start in this battle of the undefeated world champions. Now the fighters, they're back at it, and I imagine that uh, disrupted their concentration a little bit. Alfonso Zamora with his back to you, the screen right, the mustache, the taller. Now he has his back to you, Carlos Zarate. Jim Healy at the mic. Left hook seemed to have rocked Zarate. Well, what are the odds of this going the limit, the 10 rounds? I would think the odds are very short of that happening. It may be very long. You, may, you might want 100 to 1 if you said it would go the distance. Because in 74 fights between them, these two fighters, they have scored 73 knockouts. And a good right hand by Zamora. Remember, in case you're watching, the black and white Zarate is taller, has the white stripe down the side of his pants. Zamora, solid colored red trunks. Scoring system in the state of California, the 10 must system. The winner of a round must get 10 points. The loser anywhere nine on down, depending on how badly he lost the round. Most rounds are 10-9, however. And now Zamora, a little rocky, as we're inside the final 10 seconds of this first round. There it is. And Zamora almost chased Carlos Zarate here to Zarate's corner. So Zarate was rocked once, 
about halfway through that first round by a left hook, but he came back strongly. Here he is, mustache, Carlos Zarate. And the fighters seem to regain their concentration as we back it up. Director Bill Zek will show us a little slow motion. And Zarate pounds Zamora, left hand there, near the end of round number one. Fella jumped in the ring with the, the gray shorts, the white shirt. He looked like he was trying to give a religious message. And the police dragged him out of the ring. The fight was barely a minute old. All right, the 10-second buzzer has been sounded for the start of round two. This is Carlos Zadate. Carlos Zarate, the red trunks, the white stripes down the side. He is the WBC World Battleweight Champion. His opponent, Alfonso Zamora, the WBA World Battleweight Champion. Neither fighter has ever lost. In fact, only once has Zarate even gone the distance. All the rest of their fights, both of them, ended in knockout victories. Nobody has been down so far. Round number two, scheduled for 10. Another side like to this fight, they both were managed at one time by the same man, Arthur Cuyo Hernandez of Mexico City. About a year ago, however, Hernandez sold Zamora. That's Zamora's screen right fighting back off the ropes. Sold Zamora's contract to Zamora's father, Alfonso Zamora Sr., who's 65 years old. And since then, they have... That is Hernandez Zamora's former manager. He's traded uh, some rather unkind remarks with Cuyar Hernandez. And the Mexican newspapers mainly. Uh, there is bad blood between them. Between the father and manager of Zamora and the manager, Hernandez, of Zarate. Zarate landing again, and he's using smartly now the height and reach advantage. He's trying to keep Zamora off him. Doing a good job with the left hand, Zarate. Good ring level shot. Exactly one minute left. Round number two scheduled for 10. Nobody down. Carlos Zarate, screen left. White stripe down the side of his trunks, and Alfonso Zamora. Oh, and a left hook, a left to the chin by Zarate, buckles Zamora. He was hurt by that punch. Zamora battles back with the left hand himself. And this almost looks like a kamikaze fight, doesn't it? Especially from Zamora's standpoint. In other words, we're going to bomb away and I take you out or you take me out. 20 seconds left, round two, scheduled for 10. Nobody down. Zarate scoring again. It's been a good round for Carlos Zarate. That's round two. Taking punches, giving them. It is schedule 410. We begin round number three. Nobody has been down. Carlos Zarate, the taller of the two, the red trunks, the white stripe down the side, the WBC World Bantamweight Champion, winner of all 46 of his professional fights, 45 by knockout. Alfonso Zamora, shorter, screen right, solid red trunks, 28 and 0 as a pro as the fan sets off a firecracker in the background. All 28 wins by knockout. Nobody down. Round three. Zamora hurt Zarate with a left to the chin in the first round, but Zarate really shook Zamora with the same punch, a left hook in the second round. Zamora was in more danger in the second, I think, of going down. Well, you've got a, almost a Hollywood script. Or is it a Mexico City strip? They make movies there. They're both from Mexico City. Not only do you have two undefeated world champions, 
but you have bad, bad blood, and this was not a hokey pre-fight buildup either to sell tickets. Bad blood between the two managers. Julio Hernandez, who managed both fighters up till last year, he sold Alfonso Zamora's contract to Zamora's own father, 65-year-old Alfonso Zamora Sr., and the two managers and, uh, as we said, been uh, popping at each other in the Mexican newspapers ever since. Bad, oh, left hook, a double hook by Zarate to the chin. Exactly one minute left, round three. Nobody's been down yet. Zamora hurt there and wobbled again. And rocked into the ropes. Zamora hurt again. Zamora is reeling backward now. Left hook almost dropped Zamora. He's in terrible shape right now. Right hand, a short right cross to the chin, drops Zamora. In fact, I believe Zarate was sort of holding with his left hand on Zamora's shoulder, and he popped him with a short right to the chin, and that, yes, indeed, was an official knockdown, the first knockdown of the fight. So we come to the final 10 seconds of round number three of the scheduled 10 rounder. What do you think? Do you think it'll go, Tim? There's the bell. Round number four, it is scheduled for 10, and Carlos Zarate hurries out. He is the taller of the two. He is screen left, now screen right. The red trunks, the white stripe down the side, and he feels he has Alfonso Zamora in trouble and wants to try to finish him. Knockdown number two of the fight. Zamora down here, just 25 seconds into round number four. So Zamora down in the third round. Now down early in the fourth round. And Zarate just measuring him. He's in no hurry. What an accurate puncher Zarate is. And Zamora just nails Zarate the right to the chin. Zarate didn't even blink. Came right on coming. Zamora is wise. You get off those ropes. He's going to be down again. He is down again through the ropes and hanging over. Here comes the towel thrown by his father. Here comes Zamora's father into the ring. He threw it in. The fight is over. A knockout for Zarate. But over screen right, here's referee Richard Steele. Oh, and here there is the uh, father, the fellow screen right with the glasses. A uh, held now far screen right by the officers. Now screen left here in the white shirt is Cuyo Hernandez. He is being held by two men. He is the manager of Zarate. Hernandez was attacked by Alfonso Zamora Sr., the 45, 65-year-old father manager of Zamora. He came across in a, oh, just a blindside surprise attack. They had to be pulled apart after Zamora Sr. had thrown in the towel, ending the fight. So, uh, here in the second round, or the fourth round, rather, it is a knockout for Carlos Zarate. We're going to see if we can't get a slow motion replay of that knockout. It was a three knockdown, one knockdown in the third round, two knockdowns in the fourth round. When And here's the winner uh, being interviewed on Mexican television, Carlos Zarate. When Zamora went down for the third time in the fight, the second time... In the fourth round, his arm draped over the ropes. His father threw in the towel, and I'm sure he didn't do it deliberately, but the towel hit Zamora right in the face. Threw in the towel, indicating he wanted the fight stopped, and of course, Richard Steele did stop the fight. So, Carlos Zarate now, 47 wins, no losses. 46 of the 47 wins by KO. His opponent, Alfonso Zamora, his record falls to 28 wins, one loss, and that loss by knockout himself.